Hey, it's Joel. I've got this awesome filament. This is called Alien Ooze, and it was produced by IC3D for Alien 3D. I picked it up at Murph, and I really want to print something awesome with it. So let's go find a sci-fi inspired model. Let's print it out, and then let's finish it. Let's do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. This is a wonderful filament. IC3D makes fantastic filaments, and they made this very special Alien Ooze for Alien 3D, which was given out at Murph. Look at that, that color is extraordinary. It's a semi-translucent green. It's very alien, it's very ooze, and it's wonderful. And I have an idea. What I wanna do is print out the sci-fi lampshade. It's made by a gentleman who goes by Kevin Anders. It's on my mini factory, and it's five US dollars. So I gave Kevin my five US dollars, and in return, I got a fantastic model. So here's what I did. I actually loaded the model into Cura, and I sent it to my CME CNC Artemis. It's got a Wham Bam Systems flex plate on it, and that PEX holds on to materials incredibly well, and also, I have a 0.8 millimeter micro Swiss nozzle on it, which means that I'm extruding a ton of plastic. So here's what I did. I set the temperature at I think 265 C because I was printing at 60 millimeters per second. I didn't do any infill whatsoever. I just did a single perimeter. I didn't do vase mode. I did a single perimeter, which meant that the inner wall and the outer wall of this lampshade were just one perimeter. And then there were some top layers and some bottom layers. It actually printed incredibly fast for what it was. The detail was there. And this is what it looks like. Doo -doo -doo. Here it is. This is the sci-fi inspired lampshade. It's a very alien ooze green. It looks fantastic. And what's really great on that wham bam plate, it printed just like this. In the technical specifications on the My Mini Factory site for this, it's recommended to print this way, but it said unless you've got great bed adhesion, you could print it this way. So I thought this was a great test for the Wham Bam Systems plate. It printed incredibly well. It stayed on the plate, and then when it was done printing and cooled down, I just pulled it right off and it was good to go. And it kind of works like a megaphone. The lamp uses apparently an E26 or E27 lamp shade cord thing and I need to go order one of those on Amazon. And while I wait for that to get here, what I wanna do is take this into the garage and give it a paint job. I wanna keep the green on the inside, but what I wanna do on the outside is prime it and then paint it a metallic color. So when it's hanging like this, you see this metallic sci-fi greebled thing and inside you've got this green light emitting, almost like it's something from the Star Wars universe. <laughs> garage. Let's get this painted. Should work, right? Space metal is not clean. Painting is done, the weathering is done, I believe. Uh, weathering didn't really go like I expected. I've seen tutorials from Punish Props Academy and you see it kind of get into the crevices. Maybe there weren't enough crevices. I don't know, it looks, it looks like dirty space metal to me. So now we need to take that out and I think, yeah, you can kind of see that with the light there. It is green on the inside. It is space metal silver on the outside. Now what we need to do is put a bulb and a cord on. Uh, this is a cord I got off of Amazon. It is an E26, E27 sized, I think. And what's important is it has this collar that screws on. So you can put this in just like that. 
and you put this on the inside and that keeps it from coming out. And then this is a TP link. It's like a Philips Hue bulb. It's an RGB LED light bulb. You can see, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Can you get the lights? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that is extraordinary. The green of the plastic is showing through. You can see that it is a, I think I have it set to a green color. Is that about right? Yep. Okay, so let's see. On the phone, I think we can adjust this. Red, oh, look at that. There's, there's purple for you, Sean. Green, there's blue. God, the, look at the red though, that. There we go. Uh, with these new lights on, I don't know if you can really see it, but the, the light does shine down the red light, which is cool, but then you see the red peeking through. So it reminds me of what might be like a, a, a sci-fi ship boiler or exhaust port or something. So imagine it like this, and it's just powering the ship through space. And because the metal is old, you can see the light and the, the power and the, the fire explosions coming through. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. I did not expect this. <sighs> All right, well, this was a lot of fun. We talked about the Artemis and how it used the Wham Bam sheet, and this was, it held on really tight. We used the Alien Ooze green PLA that was produced by IC3D. We used a 0.8 millimeter nozzle on the Artemis, and we printed at 0.2 millimeter layers. We printed really hot, 265, 270C because we were printing at 60 millimeters per second. It's a lot of plastic to shove through. We used a new kind of really cool primer that Uncle Jesse and uh, Josh from uh, I Like To Make Stuff was showing off. Uh, let's see, we did one coat of that and we did two coats of this metallic paint and then we hooked up this lamp cord to it and we put a RGB bulb in it. I'll put links to where I got this on Amazon. It was a pack of three, so I could probably print two more of these. I like this a lot, Sean. I like this, I like this quite a bit. Uh, the wash didn't work out quite as planned. I don't really see it on here, but if you have any suggestions for an acrylic paint wash, I'd love to hear it in the comments. All right, let's call it good. If you made it this far, you're awesome. I really appreciate all the support. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all. As always, high five. That's just cool. I like that. Okay.